Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Hey guys, happy Friday. So welcome back. And today is another what I wish someone told me. Well, anywho. So today I figured because, um, I don't know, this week has been rather interesting in the regards to like what I'm trying to do with my future and getting things off the ground and on my feet and whatever. And I noticed that um, as of the last few weeks, I was really like suffering with insecurities and not necessarily personal insecurities, but more of um, what if it doesn't work? What if I don't make it, you know? And um, I was really starting to doubt myself. And then today I was just like, why? Like, why? You know, I've got a really amazing idea and I have a lot of great resources and I'm very blessed in my life and I should really be very confident. Um, so I really wanted to do uh, what I wish someone told me about insecurities. And it's crazy because people love to analyze like where they come from, where they stemmed off of, what went wrong in someone's past and all that, like the people who have, they're surrounded with. And um, I noticed in my life when I had more like personal insecurities in the past that a lot of it wasn't affected by those things. So like some of it was, but like um, when it comes to like personal family, like my third direct family <laughs> yeah <laughs> my immediate family there we go um, it, that wasn't really the case so yeah so basically like I like to start all my stories with a or sorry all my um, series with a story um, basically in the past when I had insecurities it was a lot to do with like my skin color or um, dots on my skin which really are nothing now that I look at it I can go to bathing suit shorts and I'm like who cares um, a lot of those things and it didn't stem from my family like I had a very um, I have amazing parents who have always been supportive of how uh, me and my sisters were brought up and or like how we were when we were brought up so when it came to how we looked or what we wore and stuff like that they were always like you're beautiful like you know what I mean we never really had any family issues when it came to like talking people down or anything like that that didn't really happen in our household so when I went to school like it was really weird like I look back at it I remember near the end of elementary school seventh or eighth grade I would wear like long sleeve sweaters and pants in the heat because of like these, someone had told me like I had dots on my legs and why do I have dots on my legs and obviously now like when you shave and stuff like you know they're just they're just hair follicles or whatever it's called and it's not a big deal everybody has them but I remember one person said something to me and I was like oh my god what and I was just so upset and I was so annoyed and it was hot it had to have been like the end of elementary school so June and I was in pants like jeans and like a long sleeve sweater it was crazy that I think about eighth grade or when I was leaving elementary I was like whatever I don't care I really don't care but I didn't realize how they didn't really mend like my insecurities just we were still surface they were still there under the surface they were still there so I met like a whole bunch of new friends and I had friends more like that I related to and whatnot in high school but then all of a sudden I was getting oh but you're really dark you're really this and before I had moved from the Toronto area I had a really diverse group of friends so different types of skin colors different whatever so I never thought that like I was really dark or I never really thought of those things like they didn't face me like it was never a thought I didn't care then elementary school when I had moved to the suburbs I ended up at like an all-white school no it wasn't like all-white school it was an all-white school me and my sister were the only black kids <laughs> I mean, me and my one sister because the other ones weren't born yet and um, so yeah when I went to high school I met other people but they were from like the suburbs and they were like me but I didn't realize how much of a difference it was so yeah I was hearing all these things like oh you know your skin color your um this and that like it's darker around your knuckles da, da, da. and I'm like looking at people like I swear you're like half a shade lighter than me it really isn't that serious you know what I mean but I still started to I still kind of had those insecurities and it wasn't as bad as before and honestly it wasn't until I taught myself self-love and 
even my mom, I remember one time we were in my kitchen and she even looked at me and was like, you were always, you've always loved yourself. I don't know where all these little things came from of your self-hate. Like, it literally became self-hate. And now I look at it and I'm like, why? Like, it was so stupid. But basically what I wish someone had told me was that it didn't matter. And like, my mom did. And I'm so grateful for her for that. But it wasn't until I learned my own self-love that... I realized that these things just, just should not faze me. Like now, if someone told me something about your forehead's big or what else do I usually hear? <laughs> Different little things. I just laugh it off because it's, it's just funny. It's cool. But like, self love is so important. And like, I really want to stress that to people because you never know. Like, you never be perfect. I still deal with little things that I wish were changing, wish for whatever. Like, I go up and down in weight and like, I love my body one day and the next day I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Yesterday it was so amazing. <laughs> but you know you learn these things. And it wasn't until I learned self-love and I had to literally teach myself. It was to the point where I didn't like absolutely anything about myself at all. I think it was between end of high school, beginning of, um, end of, sorry, not end of high school. By then I didn't care either. Um, end of elementary school, beginning of high school. And it wasn't until I think 11th grade that I started to really learn. And it was, I had to be like, you know what? What are the things that I love about myself? And I started from the littlest things. I love my nail length. I love that I don't have to wear fake nails. I have long, strong nails. Then it went from that to I love my hair or, you know, I had to really teach myself self-love. Like, it took a while, but it got there. Like, I got there and I'm very happy for that. And if it could help anybody else out there who honestly is struggling with that, just start with the little things. The little things always matter with people. They really, really do. And it, it could be seriously just telling yourself that little thing over and over again until you find the next thing. Then you have two things. Then you have three. The next thing you know, you'll actually just love yourself for who you are and inside out. And it went from, you know, even when it came to people saying, you talk funny, like you don't speak like a normal, usual black person, blah, blah, blah. Then after a while, it got to like, you know what, I like my voice because it can be professional. I like that part about it. I like that my vocabulary, I like that I can go out and I can speak to a group of people and they'll listen. Like, I like being different. It took a while, it took steps, it took, got, there's levels to it. <laughs> there's levels to this. So, honestly, please don't suffer with it. Like, just sit down and be like, one day you're fed up. You're fed up and you're going to move on. Because, honestly, this world is so hard. It'll never end. You'll be 50 and still hear criticism. Like, my mom still hears criticism. And it just, it's whether or not you let it get to you or it just doesn't phase you. But anyways, thank you guys for watching again, and see you in my next video, and stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, we'll have just a good old time together, <laughs> until next time.